Okay, this is um, Crossface DM, and this is going to be something a little different than what I, what we have been doing here um, with Scarlet Heroes. I have taken a small hiatus on that because life circumstances have, have made me work a lot recently, and I have not had time to really dive into Scarlet Heroes to learn how to play um, the game to provide quality content up to at least the, the, the low, low bar standard that I have is very low um, so we're gonna be doing something a little different um, you can see there's some charts over here but what we're gonna be doing today uh, we're gonna be diving in well, hell diving into fifth edition learning how to play fifth edition um, solo solo fifth edition I'm gonna try to uh, I'm going to try to stick to the rules as written as much as possible. Might be hard because I have actually not ran 5th edition for many years now. I have been firmly in um, basic variants or the FKR stuff or uh, more recently 1st um, edition or 2nd edition variants. So bear with me as I relearn how to play this game. Today, though, what we are going to do, um, we are going to create a character, and I'm going to move move this off real quick. Uh, today, we're going to be creating a character using, um, Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Um, this is actually one of the first books I've ever received for 5th edition. My wife bought this for me, brand new, and I believe this is worth random amount of money now on the second secondary market, but I plan on keeping it because I don't ever sell anything. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to roll up a character. Uh, I'm not going to start with stats. We'll do stats last. Um, what I'm going to do right now is we're just going to roll up the history of the character and this might provide some hooks or it might not um, because in the long run probably what I'm going to be doing is dungeon diving quite a bit but we're still going to figure out who the character is first so let's move this back here and I do not have a name yet but we're going to put name right there but we'll name it later so if you have Xanathar's Guide to Everything, where we're going to be at is, I think, believe, it starts on page 61. Mm. 61. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. 61. So section by section, you have an origin section. Uh, personal decisions, life events, and supplemental tables. So we're going to kind of go through these and see who the character was. So there's going to be a lot of D100 rolls, and I guess I can scoot, scoot this in a little bit. You're not going to be able to see everything, but you'll be able to see some stuff. Uh, let's see. We'll move all this stuff out of the way for now. I try to get bright dice for the, the camera to pick up. All right. My parents, did I know who they were? I did know who they are or were. So that's a thing. Um, I am going to probably be a human. So we're going to go ahead and we, we, we ignore all this section right here. Um... Now we're going to go to the birthplace, birthplace here, so, 86, so I was born among people of a different race, born among different So that could be elves, uh, or you know any of that. But we'll figure that out later. 
So now we're gonna roll on the siblings chart. So this is 1d10. 3 is 1d3, so this is going to be 1, 2 is 1, um, 3, 4 is 2, and 5, 6 is 3, for however many siblings I've had. I had 3 siblings. Now, I need to figure out if... what this means. I am the... I am the older of the three siblings, I believe, is how I'll run this. Um, three, four, five, six. So I'm the oldest of three siblings. Now, so this may or may not be boring content for you guys, but this is, I find there's like, there's definitely, um, there's definitely like a desire to learn how to play this stuff by yourself. So I'm just kind of showing you how I would run this by myself. Um, okay, so I need to figure out now how the nature of my family, I guess. 14. I guess this is who raised me. The one of my my aunt my aunt and uncle raised me, so I don't know. So I don't know. I guess I do know of my parents, but my aunts raised me. My aunt and uncle. So I wonder. This gives me a chart to see. Sorry if I keep blocking this out. Um, what is the fate of my parents? Two. They were imprisoned, enslaved, or otherwise taken away. So. Raised. My aunt and uncle. Parents. Taken away. All right. So that already kind of gives me a little bit of a hook to go try to figure out if I could find them. Or maybe that's the reason I got born from in this other area or around other people. Um, not sure. 3D6 here. This is kind of going to be how wealthy uh, my, my family was here. So it's nine. Modest. So it's just the average. Average. I'm not, not more poor or less than... Uh, Anybody else? Um, now this is going to be my childhood home. Four. A rundown shack. I grew up in a rundown shack. <laughs> uh, very poor. Um, childhood memories. Fourteen, several friends, and childhood was a generally a happy childhood. So even though I was poor, I still had friends. Now I need to figure out now what my background is. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what my class is yet either. I'm thinking I'm gonna be a fighter, just a plain old human fighter, just for the sake of keeping things simple. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So on the backgrounds, there's thirteen of them. I guess. I guess I'll roll a d20 and then just ignore anything over 20. Reroll it, I mean. Yep. 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10, 11. I'm a sailor. So I got to figure out why I became a sailor. Five. Reavers attacked my community, so I found refuge on a ship until I could seek vengeance. So there we go. So there's where the parents went. So, I'm a sailor. Um, Reavers attacked my community. So that means I'm close to water, and also that I kind of know my way around a ship. Which, maybe I'm a rogue and I'm a swashbuckler, I mean there's a chance that I could do that, or I could just be a fighter. I think I'm just still, still just going to be a fighter. Let me read real quick on some stuff on the rogue. I'm just going to be a fighter. Why did I become a fighter? I grew up fighting. That's pretty much it. Grew up fighting. Sorry about my handwriting. I was born amongst a different race. Oldest of three siblings, raised by my aunt and uncle. My parents were taken away by reavers. And they attacked my community. I, I grew up basically on a ship. And I want revenge on this group. I grew up fighting. So maybe I want to go find a magical sword. That might be a, that might be a hook. You know, that, that could be a hook. All right. Now I got to see how old I am. One, I am literally 20 years old or younger. So let's roll. Hmm. I guess, I mean, what? I'm going to roll like a D6. Yeah. So 14 plus D6. That's what I'm going to say. 14 plus D6. So I'm 17 years old. And that means I only have one life event other than the Reavers coming and taking my thing. But we'll see what the life event is here. 27. I fell in love and got or got married. Uh, let's see. Work with your DM to identify your love interest. I fell in love. So that I, we'll, we'll work that out later. Fell in love. Maybe, maybe my childhood love got taken away by the Reavers as well, question mark. Who knows? We'll, we're going to put a question mark beside that because we need to figure that out still. I am going to put a question mark beside the Reavers because we need to figure out who they are. Um, the other stuff's kind of like whatever. We're going to put a question mark around the different race too. Uh, it's going to be like a sea community, some kind of seafaring community, maybe mermen. Who knows? Um, but that's that's far as that goes. I still haven't rolled my stats, you see. So this is kind of like something that uh, this is kind of something that you can do. So now, now comes the stats, right? So let's see. And we get to place them wherever we want. All right, drop the lowest. I believe that's the rules as written, is that I get to place them wherever I want. So that is 11. Fourteen. Fifteen. Seventeen, 
Same as my age. Thirteen. I really forget how busted fifth edition is. This is not a good or bad thing necessarily. It's very good for solo play, but for like group play, good lord, these numbers. All right, one more here. I have a sixteen. So uh, that is pretty good. That is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is we're probably going to call it here. Well, no, wait. First off, what I'm going to do is we're actually going to uh, randomly roll a name using the um, using the stuff, the, the charts in the back of this book. Actually, first off, we're going to go to the front of the book. And here's the human names. We'll see how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this is going to be a uh, re-roll anything above a 17. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's going to have a Japanese name. And I'm going to butcher it. So... Eighty-four. Takio. So this guy's name's Takio. I may learn how to pronounce that later, but his name's Takio. I can't even spell Takio. That is also incorrect. Bear with me. Takio. Seventeen years old. Reaver. I know my way around a ship. Um sailor fell in love grew up fighting i have brothers and sisters i don't know if they're in my life or not uh parents got taken away from pirates basically so i have beef with some pirates and i am on a quest to get revenge maybe potentially find my parents they may or may not be dead may not may be alive i don't know this is basically the hooks that we're developing right now um, I have good stats, so what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to divvy up a character sheet and we'll come back with the character sheet finished for the second episode and we're going to play a little bit and then we'll see what happens. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been Crossface DM. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.